What up, y'all? It's the SMT. This video, we're going to focus on Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. We got some fresh installs for you. Sorry, the road noise is really bad. This is a busy street. We're on West 117th. Uh, we're in between Puritus and Lorraine Road. Those are the two major ones. And we got two fresh installs for Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband, the Millimeter Wave Edition. Come on, iPhone Focus. There we go. All right, we're directly getting a directional signal from that sector of that three sector millimeter wave site uh so this is a residential quite residential lots of side streets here and and businesses too so lots of traffic in a lot of different ways interestingly enough we have a second site over here through the trees if you guys can this is the best i could do on the iphone but it's right there kind of at uh i'll put it at like 12 o'clock there standing straight up it's about one block over all right, so you got one there at that end of the street on 117th. And then here's the next street over. And then this one is in between this street and the next one. So within probably five blocks, you're going to have contiguous coverage with these two nodes. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. But before we do, let me show you guys the deets on the actual connectivity here. So it is 5G NR. Signal strength is really strong. We're at a minus 71 dBm. You like to see that you know 90 or less it's nice to test it when it's in the 80s lower is better all right you'll see the rsrq is minus 11 now the sine r is the signal to noise ratio you like that number to be as high as possible i don't know if you're like up against the site it might be 30 db uh typically you want to shoot for as close to 20 as possible and we're right on it all right the anchor band here is band 13 750 megahertz and that's going to kind of carry uh, the connection. I mean, it's, it's NSA, so it needs LTE. All right, so you will also see that we got eight carrier aggregation on the millimeter wave. Basically, it's eight combined channels of 100 megahertz. So go ahead and add that up. You got 800 plus the 10 from the band 13. You got 810 megahertz of spectrum. All right, so let's go ahead and test the iPhone first. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. And uh, here's the Google Pixel 6 Pro. We're going to test that too. Okay, so I don't know which site we're connected to, honestly. Let's assume this one because I'm closer to it and it's pointed right at us. I don't think it's that one, but that one is pointing straight down the street. Uh, and this one is actually pointed across the street. So it's like crossing signals. And then it's also pointed back there to the end of the street. Okay, so here's our first test on the iPhone. And you will see the 5G ultra wideband signal is present. 2,651 megabits per second down, 170 megabits per second up. 20 millisecond ping, 0 0.96 millisecond jitter, and 0% loss. That's a good speed test. Very nice. Lots of uplink, lots of downlink. So for the rest of the video, we'll just call this 2.6 gigs per second. All right, nothing has changed here on the Pixel 6 Pro. We are still connected to it. Let's go ahead and run a speed test on the Google Pixel 6 Pro and see how this performs. Just compared to the iPhone, we've really liked the iPhone millimeter wave performance for the last couple of years. It's been really nice. And the Google Pixel 6 Pro had some problems initially on launch with like millimeter wave and C-band and all of that. Uh, but it has improved and updates have done a nice job to make it better. And here's the proof of it. Outperforming the iPhone which is ironic because you just wouldn't expect it. The iPhone has been better characteristically over the last couple of years. All right, so here is the Google Pixel 6 Pro numbers. 3,303 megabits per second downlink, 203 on the uplink, 19 millisecond ping, and a lot of jitter. Holy crap. 246 millisecond jitter. No idea what happened there. So there's your performance comparison between the Pixel 6 Pro and the iPhone. Um, you know, it, I, I wouldn't say that one is like that much better. Clearly the pixel had a, a better performance there. Let's run the pixel one more time and then we'll run the iPhone one more time and see what happens. Um, uh, but this is good. It's good to compare the two phones. Some of you may be deciding if you want to buy a new iPhone or if you want to buy the new pixel, this phone is 900 bucks, brand new, the pixel six pro. And this one is a thousand dollars. And then when you increase storage, obviously the prices increase. So you want to put those things in consideration. Do you like Android? Do you like iOS? 
which one does cellular better, which one does certain things better. This kind of gives you an idea. All right, 3.3 gigs per second down, 180 megabits up, 18 ping, and two jitter, no loss. Pretty good stuff from the Pixel. Let's go ahead and run the iPhone one more time and see if it's any better or worse than the Pixel or better or worse than the first test. You know, typically the iPhone does do very well. I mean, this isn't bad by a long shot. That's really nice. But <laughs> it does look like it's getting outshined by the Pixel. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that Samsung made this modem <laughs> and it speaks really nicely or plays very nicely with these Samsung nodes, the radios and the antennas, you know, that gear. So, all right, what do we got from the iPhone? 2.4 gigabits per second down, 187 megabits up, and 20 millisecond ping, 4.5 millisecond jitter, and no loss. The updates for the Pixels have been great. They have made the phone much better. All right, this is weird, though. A couple of times now I've tested, and I'm seeing that the ultra wideband is gone, and then I got a reset airplane mode. So maybe I should, uh, for my next round of testing, I'll reset the phone before I start testing them and stuff. But it looks like the iPhones I have in trouble holding on but the performance slightly better on the Pixel when it is connected. But that'll conclude this round of testing. I don't really know if I need to do much else. Maybe um, maybe we do like um, the fast.com for you guys, possibly. You guys might like to see that. And then I can airplane mode this while we're doing that. I'm not sure about the cappage and the servers, speeds, and stuff like that when it comes to fast.com. All right, so we got one gigabit per second on fast.com. That tells you what you're getting on the video playback. Right, what does it say here? Uploads at like 100 megabits, 42 millisecond. Oh, no. What? It's connect. Where is it connecting me? Ashtabula? Oh, Pittsburgh, USA. I wonder why it's sending me to a server that far. It says... Pittsburgh and Chicago that might account for that performance uh let's go ahead and test this one on fast.com the pixel see if there's any difference there compared to the iPhone so one one gig per second on the downlink and 100 megabits on the uplink wow much different let's we'll see what servers it picks up but it's twice as fast I mean, you're not going to, it's not going to be any different, right? Like, how is this and this <laughs> make a difference in watching Netflix? <laughs> any 4K is going to play just fine on one gigabit or two gigabits. All right, it did drop. Okay, so let's see where it picked up there. Same thing. Oh, so the client on the test on the left was Ashtabula US. That's like 45 minutes away. And then this one over here, the the pixel 6 pro is picking up columbus it's interesting all right so we got 1.2 gig per second on the downlink and uh what do we got a 31 millisecond ping there and then uplink speed of 140 megabits per second all right that's a pretty full round of testing here between the pixel 6 pro and the iphone 13 pro what do you guys think sound off in the comment section below you are the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Link in the description box for my Twitter handle and my email address. I'm going to run these at the same time. And uh, my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to run these at the same time simultaneously. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Is there a difference? I don't know. We're at two gigs here, two gigs there, running them at the same time. Phenomenal. God, man, I love millimeter wave. Bulletproof capacity for days. It's the best, man. Can't wait for this stuff to scale. Look at that. Phenomenal. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.